Very small windows for your target buck to begin showing up are upon us. The first step to mapping his travel routes is to start laying out a map of your property on Google Maps or a topographical map. Then place one camera in each identified location. They need to be in accessible locations for inventory and movement purposes. It is more important that you place your cameras in areas heavily utilized by deer. Scrapes, logging roads, edges of food plots or agriculture fields, and heavily traveled deer funnels where you can easily check them without disrupting deer activity. Food sources can change drastically throughout the fall, so become familiar with these types, especially native browse and mass that have naturally produced year after year in your hunting area. Food sources in October and November can still be a hot ticket, but bedding areas, travel routes, and staging areas are usually where you're going to begin to see some mature buck movement. Some photos and videos of bucks you will capture may be in daylight, but expect a large amount of them to occur under the cover of darkness. That's just the nature of tracking mature bucks. Rubs and scrapes are great for drawing deer in, but avoid placing trail cameras right on top of them. Deer will recognize this, but more importantly, smell human activity and avoid the scrape or rub line altogether. Pre-rut bucks will often visit a scrape site once dusk falls. Your trail camera should be placed at a minimum of 25 yards from the scrape, preferably on one of the paths leading in. In giving this space, you can determine the direction the buck is traveling, giving you an edge to figure out how he uses this area before making your move.